Church, Matthews, chapter 22, and the 14th verse, says this, For many are called, but few are chosen. I would like the church to get to understand what the Lord is saying about for many are called, but few are chosen. Before I get into that of the 14 verse of Matthew chapter 22, I'm going to read 2 Peter. I'm going to read 2 Peter chapter 1. And I'm going to start off at the first verse. And go all the way to the tenth verse. I want the church to hear what the Lord is saying unto the church. So I'm at the first verse. Simon Peter, a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. According as his divine power had given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that had called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these he might be partaker of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lusts, and besides this, given all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness charity. If these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye should neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But he that like these things is blind and cannot see afar off, and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye should never fall. Now, you hear what the Lord is saying unto the church. Matthew chapter 22 and the 14 verse tell us, For many are called, but few are chosen. Now, he said that many are called. And look what the Lord say about in many are called. He's saying this unto the church. I want you to hear what the Lord is saying unto the church. Second Peter chapter 1 and the 10th verse. They say, Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, ye should never fall. Okay, you hear what the Lord is saying unto the church? Now, with the grace of God, I'm going to go to Matthew chapter 7. Okay. And let's hear what the Lord is saying unto the church. Matthew chapter 7. And I'm going to read... The seven and eight words. I want you to pay close attention to what's being said. The seven words tell us this. Starting there. Ask and it shall be given you. Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that acts, receive it, and he that seeketh, find it, 
and to him that knocketh it shall be open. Now, you see how the Lord is putting unto the church to come to understand that you see many are called, but few are chosen. And notice what the Lord is saying about many are called, but few are chosen. So, Matthew chapter 7, and I'm going to go to the 13 and 14 verse. And I want the church to pay close attention. The 13 verse. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way, that lead to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which lead unto life, and few there be that find it. Now, notice what is being said about a few be that would find it. I want you to pay close attention. Hear what the 8th verse says unto the church. For everyone that asks it, receive it. And he that seek it, find it. And to him that knock, it shall be open. Okay? Now hear how the Lord put it. And he that seek it, find it. You see what the Lord say? It says this, And he that seek it, find it. Now, why am I saying that? The Lord say, Many are called, but few are chosen. And he let us know that in many are called, just few are chosen. What he mean about few are chosen? Who are those that are chosen? Let's see. Now, once you get to that as the Lord say, if you ask, and it shall be given, you seek, and ye shall find, knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Look how it's being put, hear what the Lord saying. It says, For everyone that acts receive it, and he that seek it find it, and to him that knock it shall be opened. It's Matthew chapter 7, the 7 and the 8 verse. Now what is this the Lord is trying to say about few are chosen? What is few are chosen is all about? And yet he said many are called, but few are chosen. We'll go to John chapter 15. John chapter 15, and I'm going to read the 16 and 17 verse. Not that to 15. It says, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you, that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit shall remain. That whatsoever ye should ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. These things I command you, that ye love one another. Now, you hear what the Lord say? He say, but few are chosen. He say, many are called, but few are chosen. We see in John chapter 15, and part of the 16 verse, it says, Ye have not chosen me. But I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit. I'm going to read the rest. And that your fruit shall remain. 
that whatsoever you should ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. You see what he say about bringing full truth? He say fruit. Now, look upon it and come to realize Galatians chapter 5, starting at the 22 verse, going all the way to the 25th, is telling us what the Lord is saying unto the church about where the Lord say in John chapter 15 in the 16 verse about bringing forth fruit. Galatians chapter 5 and the 22 verse starting there, starting at the 22 verse and go all the way to the 25th verse, starting at the 22. What it says. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law, and they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the lusts, and they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Now we see what the Lord is saying unto the church in John chapter 15 where he tells us that he have, he have chosen us and ordained us to bring forth fruit and that our fruit shall remain. Galatians chapter 5, the 22 verse all the way to the 25th verse, put it plainly about the fruit and come to realize the fruit that which what the Lord is talking about is the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Okay? Now, I'm going to put it plainly for the church to come to understand in 1 Peter. 1 Peter chapter 2 and the ninth verse tells us. Hear what the Lord said, saying unto the church. But ye are a chosen generation, a raw priesthood, and holy nation, a pe peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Now, you see what the Lord is saying unto the church. Okay, now, come to realize it and come to understand that the Lord see many are called, but few are chosen. Now come to understand if it get to your part in life like what Matthews chapter 7 the 7 verse and 8 verse tell us hear what the Lord said unto the church. Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that acts receiving, and he that seeketh find, and to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. You hear what the Lord is saying unto the church? Now come to realize you living in a day and hour where Many people are saying that God had called them. Now look how I'm going to put it. Say that the Lord has called them to be saved. Now come to realize And look how the Lord put me. The seventh verse letting us know that the Lord say many he called but few are chosen. Are you the one that wants to be a few that is chosen? Or you just want to be those that where the Lord say he called many. And not going to continue 
in the word of God. It says he called many, but few are chosen. Look how I'm going to put it unto the church. See, many be called, but he said few are chosen. And who are the one are chosen? He said, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you that you should bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain. Now, he called many. Do you want to be in that of him calling you of a many that you want to be the few? Rather than with the many he have called. See, because many he have called, but a lot don't want to be chosen. Like the scripture say. In Matthew chapter 22 and the 14 verse. Many are called. But few are chosen. You have a lot of people say. A lot of people have gotten saved. Many people have gotten saved. But do they want to be. That chosen few. Let me show you what the many that are called. You could be like this, the many that are called. And what is the Lord saying that many are called but few are chosen? The many are called are those like these kind of people. Matthew chapter 7. And the 22 verse tell us. Well, the 21 verse. I want you to pay close attention, church. Matthew chapter 7. And the 21 verse. Well, the 20th verse. Because it's very important in what I'm trying to give, give unto the church. The 20th verse. It's saying the 21, the 20th verse. It said. Wherefore, by their fruits ye should know them. Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, should enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. You hear what's being said? Many be called, but few are chosen. And right now I'm talking about many that are called. Now, if you don't want to be the few of chosen, you're going to be this kind of many of what the Lord telling the church they are going to be. The 22 words. Many words will say unto me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works. Look what the 23rd says. Hear what the 23rd say unto the church. The verse. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Now the Lord said, many are called, but few are chosen. Do you want to be that many that he called? Or do you want to be the few he have ordained and chosen? What I'm going to say unto the church in Matthew chapter 7 and I'm going to read the 26 verse. To the 27. The 26 say, And every one that hear these saying of mine, and doeth them not, should be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the flood came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell. And great was the fall of it. 
You see what the Lord say, many are called, but few are chosen. What is the many is all about in him calling that separate the few that is chosen? What I'm going to read in Matthew chapter 7, the 13 and the 14 verse, the 13, it says, Therefore, it say, Either ye enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that lead to destruction, and many there be which go in there and at. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few that be that find it. You see what the Lord's saying? Many are called, but few are chosen. And like this, it's your choice. Now listen to me. If you say you don't ask, what the Lord say in the seven verse, if you ask, you say this, ask and it shall be given you. Have you seek? Look what he say. And ye shall find it. Knock. And it should be open unto you. You see how the Lord put it? If you ask, you say it should be given you. You say if you seek, you should find it. You knock, and it should be open unto you. Do you want to be the few of cho chosen? And then you say the few that is chosen. Look what's being said unto you. The few that which are chosen. You're living in a day and hour where you hear a lot of people say, I pray, I sought the Lord. See, I was seeking the Lord. He tell you this here. And some say, I ask the Lord. But look what he say in your accent. Now in your accent, this what I'm about to share with you, I want you to think on it. I want you to hear it very well. Because you're living in a society today with people, they will tell you that you know I'm saved. I asked the Lord to come into my life. I was, I'm seeking it. And you know I have found it. Because you know who I knocked. And he opened it for me. Look what I'm going to read in Matthew chapter 7 in the 7th verse. Does that sound similar to you? Now look what he say. He say, ask, and it shall be given you. Now, since you done ask the Lord, he done give it unto you. And you say, you seek. He say, seek, and he shall find. Did you not like the way you say you did? He say, and it shall be open unto you. Now look how the eight verse put it plainly. He said, for everyone that acts, receive it. And he that seek it, find it. And to him that knock, it shall be open. What trying to be saved? Now all these things that you say of asking, seek, and find, and not, the Lord put it plainly unto you. For everyone that asks, receive it, and he that seek it, find it. And to him that knock, it shall be open. What trying to be said unto you? Now, it done been opened unto you. And what is that is open unto you and that what you have said? The 14 verse. 
because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which lead unto life and few that be that find it are you listening and few that be that find it now notice don't deceive yourself what is the Lord saying In your asking, seeking, knock. For everyone that asks, receiving, and, to, and he that seeketh, find, and to him that knock, it shall be open. What does it mean, it shall be open? What does it mean, it shall be open? John chapter 15 Put it plainly It shall be open Don't you know in your salvation of Getting saved, born again, filled with the Holy Ghost Look what John chapter 15 tells us In the 16 verse Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you, that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit shall remain, that whatsoever ye should ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. You see what the open is all about? He said this, that whatsoever ye should ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. That simply means, the heavens is open for you to ask God the Father in prayer of what you want in Jesus Christ's name. Hear what the Lord's saying. Look what Jesus had said. He said, Father, I know it's that thou hears me always because I do the things that which you tell me. Now, learn this when Jesus was baptized, the Holy Ghost fell upon him like a dove, and the scriptures say. The heavens was open. You see what's being said unto the church when the Lord said this. When the Lord said this in Matthew chapter 7. The eighth verse, for everyone that asks receive it, and he that seek it find it into him that knock it, it shall be open. I simply mean the heavens would be open. Why? You have received the gift of the Holy Spirit. That would cause the heavens to be open unto you. Now the thing about it, what the Lord say, many are called. Many are called to be chosen of God. And ordained. As John chapter 15 to 16 verse. Ye have not chosen me. But I have chosen you. And ordained you. For what purpose? That ye should go and bring forth fruit. And that your fruit shall remain. Are you listening? That whatsoever ye should ask of the Father. In my name. He may give it you. Are you listening? Who are the chosen who he have ordained for what purpose to bring forth fruit and that your fruit will remain, that it should remain. Now come to understand and you saying that
You asked? And what happened to the accident? The Lord said it should be given. He said, Seek, you shall find, knock, and it shall be open unto you. And what is open? He talking about the heavens is open unto you. Unto who? Who is it open unto? Look who is it open unto? Matthew chapter 7 and the 24 verse. Therefore, whosoever hear these saying of mine and do it them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. Who are the many that was called and decide not wanted to be chosen and ordained of God to bring forth fruit? Who are the many that have been called? They are those that not doing what the Lord say. The 21 verse of Matthew chapter 7, the 21, not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, should enter into the kingdom of heaven. Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, should enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Look what the Lord put before you. He let you know about them that say, Lord, Lord. Not everyone that said should enter into the kingdom of heaven. Who are those? Those that, in them being called, in what the Lord say he have chosen you and ordained you that you should bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. Look how the Lord put it unto the church. He put it as a, a choice you take as of your salvation. Just think about what happened to Adam and Eve. The Lord had told Adam not to eat off the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. He gave him a choice. That's the same way the Lord said in your salvation of getting saved. He give you a choice. He give everyone a choice. And it's up to you to be this kind of way of the many call and wind up not being with the few. Matthew chapter 7, the 13 and 14 verse, the 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that lead to destruction. And many that be which go in thereat, the 14 verse. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which lead unto life, and few that be that find it. You hear what the Lord said? You got to find it. Is this what he's saying to the church? What that find is all about. What that find is all about. Matthew chapter 7. Read the seven and eight verse, the seven. Asking it shall be given unto you. Asking it shall be given unto you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that acts receiving, and he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh it shall be open. Are you listening to what the Lord say unto the church? It's your choice. It's your choice. Amen. Right. Second Peter chapter 1 and the 10th verse tell us. It say, Wherefore the rather, brethren, 
Give diligence to make your calling in election sure. For if you do these things, you should never fall. Amen. And what is the Lord saying about that? Look what he's saying unto the church. Second Peter chapter 1. And I'm going to start off at the first verse and go all the way to the tenth verse. I'm going to read it again. So I'm at the first verse. Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. According as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partaker of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. And besides this, give all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness charity. If these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye should neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But he that like these things is blind and cannot see afar off and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence that to, to make your calling an election sure. If you do these things, he should never fall. Amen.